place where the dynamics of positive and negative seem to exist in extremes. I remember walking across this yard on what seemed to be a random day, my head down, lost in my own world of issues, like many of you do daily. I'm almost at the center of the yard. I raised my head and Muhammad Ali was walking towards me. Time seemed to slow down as his eyes locked on mine and opened wide. He's raised his fist into a quintessential guard. I was game to play along with him to act as if I was a worthy opponent. I walked away amused at him, amused at myself, amused at life for this moment that almost no one would ever believe. I walked away light, ready to take on the world. That is the magic of this place. Almost anything can happen here. Almost every day I will walk the full length of the hill to fine arts where most of my classes were carrying all of my books because once you walk that far on foot, you're not walking back home until it's time to go home for good. And I want to say something to that. You know, sometimes your grades don't, 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 don't give a, 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 a real indication of what your greatness might be. Even though you made it up the hill, you carry the baggage of rejection with you. But you're here. Oftentimes, the mind is flooded with realizations that were for some reason harder to come to when you were at a lower elevation. At this moment, most of you need some realizations because right now you have some big decisions to make. Look down over what you conquered and appreciate what God has brought you through. I was on a roll when I entered the system of entertainment, theater, television, and film. In my first New York audition for a professional play, I landed the lead role. From that play, I got my first agent. From that agent, I got an on-screen audition. It was a soap opera. It wasn't Third Watch. It was a soap opera on a major network. I scored that role too. I felt like Mike Tyson when he first came on the scene, knocking out opponents in the first round. With this soap opera gig, I was already promised to make six, six figures, more money than I had ever seen. But once I got the first script and with soap robbers. You very often get the script the night before and you shoot the whole episode in one day with little to no time to prepare. Once I saw the role I was playing, I found myself conflicted. The role wasn't necessarily stereotypical. Never judge the characters you play. That's what we were always taught. That's, that's the first rule of acting, and any role played honestly can be empowering. But I was conflicted because this role seemed to be wrapped up in assumptions about us as black folk. Sometimes you need to get knocked down before you can really figure out what your, what your fight is and how you need to fight it. It is elder years drawing from his victories and his losses. At that moment, I realized something new about this, the greatness of Ali and how he carried his crown. I realized that he was transferring something to me on that day. He was transferring the spirit of the fighter in me. He was, he was transferring the spirit of the fighter to me. He was transferring the spirit of the fighter to me. Sometimes you need to feel the pain and sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose that God predestined inside of you. God says in Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Graduating class, hear me well on this day. When you hit this day, when you have reached the hilltop, and you are deciding on, on next jobs, next steps, careers, further education. You would rather find purpose than a job or a career. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history. 
Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. When I dare to challenge the system that would relegate us to victims and stereotypes with no clear historical backgrounds, no hopes or talents, when I questioned that method of portrayal, a different path opened up for me. The path to my destiny. When God has something for you, it doesn't matter who stands against it. God will move someone that's holding you back away from a door and put someone there who will open it for you. If it's meant for you, I don't know what your future is. But if you are willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Now, this is your time. <laughs> The light of new realization shines on you today. Howard's legacy is not wrapped up in the money that you will make, but the challenges that you choose to confront. As you commence to your past, press on with pride and press on with purpose. <laughs>